Okay. USB. Okay, you get this error. In order to upgrade the BPM software into the Atmega chip of the 2.6, APM 2.6 flight controller, you need to connect your jumper on the middle pins. It's called DFU now. I put it there. It's on the center. Then you connect your USB to the board. And you should hear the computer acknowledge connection. And everything starts to blink. Then you short out the two pins here. So it goes into DFU. That means it's now ready to be flashed. Notice the lights are no longer blinking. So let's look at the the program, the flip program, to see what's going on. So I have the flip, Intel flip, up and running. I choose the CPU device. Okay, it's the Atmega 32U2. And click here. I click on USB. Click open. So everything's here set as per the direction. I go here and access the hex file. Click OK. And here, click Run. So everything's green, meaning everything has been flashed. Verify pass, USB on. So that's good. Let's see if the uh, updated PPM firmware actually works. So this is a FlySky uh, receiver. And I'm connected with the uh, Darius radio. It's about it. And let me power up the board without the jumpers, of course. Oh, meant good. Now the board is flashing. The lights are flickering. And then let's do the click. Red link. Bad gyro health. Alright. Bad barrel health. Nothing's connected to the board, so I'm getting all those messages. But here's the important point. You go to initial setup and mandatory hardware and radio calibration. So if you do the throttle, it moves as it should, right? However, fail safe fail does not work if you did not update the PPM software. So if I turn off the radio, that should go down. And it does. So fail safe is now working using this mode. And unless you, you move the jumper from where it used to be, the J2 uh, to the middle, your upgrade will not work. So I hope this helps somebody out there.